Your day determines your night. So many people come to us and say, oh, I can't sleep, I'm just feeling terrible. And then we'll ask them, well, what are you doing during the day? And they're like, well, we're, I don't really have a routine. I don't have any structure. Depending on how I feel is what I do. And that's all well and good. But if you don't have a planned day or at least a, a, some form of routine and structure, and I know it's boring, but trust me, like the amount of transformations I've seen from people who apply this is ridiculous. So routine and structure you've basically got to get the right amount of activity and rest but you know i would look at your day which should determine your night right if you're doing too much you're either going to be overtired and wired or way too exhausted but if you're doing too little you're actually going to have surplus energy in your body which is going to keep you awake at night. So we want to get to the end of the day feeling good tired, okay? Tired is good, right? It's not a bad thing, but we want to get to the end of the day and be good tired, not ridiculously overly exhausted, but also not wide awake where we've got energy inside ourselves, okay? And so this is where routine and structure is so important. I have basically a baseline training video that covers this. I'll leave a link in the description for you. But that's one thing, your day, Routine determines your night routine, right? I see it time and time again. And when you dial this in and you get a specific view, depending on where you're at, it's gonna make a huge difference to your life. And just your immune system, your gut health, everything just changes the game. Second thing, avoid sleeping too late in the day. Now you might not be a daytime sleeper or you might be sleeping during the day because your body needs it right now. But one of the things that we teach is making sure that you're not sleeping too late in the day. So if you do need a daytime sleep, sleep between the times of 10 a.m. and 2 to 3 p.m., no later than that. Why? Because if you sleep too later than that, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You wake up at 4 p.m. or 5 p.m. and you, you're like, ah, oh, what time is it? And you know your brain's trying to figure out, is it morning or is it nighttime? And so basically you're ruining your uh, circadian rhythm, okay? What we want to do, we want to honor our body. Uh, if we need more deep rest and sleep during the day, that's fine. We need to honor that. But we need to do it in the right appropriate times. If we're doing it too late in the day, we're confusing our brain and our body and we're not going to sleep well at night, okay? But you'll find that this, this is something you got to be flexible with. You know, in our program, if some people couldn't sleep until 4 a.m. in the morning because they sleep so late in the day. We had to reverse this slowly. In particular, one teenage boy would wake up at like 3 p.m. in the afternoon because he, he just had the worst night's sleep. And so we had to work with him for six months to rewind his body clock and get him into a good rhythm and routine. And it was very hard initially for him, but I can tell you that after six months, that boy was a brand new boy. More energy, would wake up normal times, you know, got stronger and healthier over time and basically was able to go and live his life full time after that. But it was a real hard process to get him out of that rhythm and routine, which is exactly what it is. It's a pattern. We need to break the pattern, but we need to do it in a flexible way, whether that's easing back 20 minutes at a time or five minutes at a time or an hour at a time, whatever suits you. Again, this is where having a coach or a program to help you with this stuff is very important. So yeah. Don't sleep any later than 3 p.m. Don't freak out if you do, but try and pull it back more, okay? So you've got more time in the afternoon for your brain and body to see, oh, okay, the sun's going down now and I can sleep. You know, it's time to go back to bed now, okay?